Yo, what up, what up? It's the kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So, this next blog, I'm just doing this real quick. You know, I'm just gonna tell you guys where I get my sneakers and where you guys could get your sneakers, man. Um, I was just talking to somebody on Instagram and he pretty much asked me where do I get all my sneakers and I told him and things of that nature and uh, he was just real appreciative of that, man. So, you know, I just, this blog is for you, bro. Um, I'm just gonna do this for anybody else who feels like him, man. They wanna know where do I get my sneakers, man. And uh, when I tell you where do I get my sneakers, I'm not just gonna be general. I'm gonna give you guys specifics, man. I'm shouting everybody out, man. Cause I don't got no crab in a bucket mentality, man. You know, we all should be able to shine. I'm gonna help try to help these guys get business because they do great business and they're great places to go, man. So first of all, the first place that I go to get my sneakers now is eBay, bro. Um, it's kind of crazy because two years ago, if you would have asked me, eBay was at the bottom of the list, man. You know, these resellers were out of their mind, man. They would post the most general shoe in the world, like the uh, Military 4s, for like 350 Like, stupid, man. These guys are crazy, bro. But, you know, I never went on eBay back then. I kind of quit. I kind of retired. I'm only saying that for the people who probably were like me, who retired from eBay, and uh, they don't know that uh, eBay now got a lot of good deals and steals because number one, you know, reselling is not popping like it used to be, man. So, you know, they can't really flip shoes like that. You know, it's just gonna be sitting, it's gonna be sitting, it's gonna be sitting. Cause sellers like me, I mean, buyer, buyers like me, and buyers out there, we're just frustrated and we're not paying that much money for sneakers. On top of that, Nike's boosting their prices up. So what's the point of buying a sneaker for $250 and trying to, uh, $220 and trying to sell it for $250? Doesn't make any sense to me at all, you know. Um, and on, on top of that, Nike is really putting out more product, man. So the reselling game is really slowly diminishing. I'm not gonna say that they're just gonna be completely extinct, you know, cause there's gonna be hype beasts everywhere. We cannot get rid of these people, man. Hype beasts, we know about you. Don't buy shoes unless they're popular. For the hoes, they're so they're gonna name. exist forever. But, you know, on eBay, people just like, yo, man, you know, I'm throwing up some good prices. So you might wanna check out eBay. I go to eBay a lot, man. Uh, eBay really been looking out for me. Next, I kind of peek into Craigslist. Um, Craigslist used to be like kind of number two on my list back in the day because Craigslist was crazy, man. Uh, I was getting hella deals, crazy deals. I, I, I just can't even tell you how many deals I got on Craigslist. But uh, Craigslist kind of died down because the reselling kind of uh, took over, you know, and people like me, man, I wasn't about to pay that much money. Everybody was on Craigslist trying to sell like Bugs Bunny 8s for 300, 350. Like, we wasn't doing that, man. But now, reselling is starting to die down. And maybe that's probably why Craigslist is dying down a little bit because the resellers aren't buying every shoe to try to sell it. But I peek in there a little a little bit here and there, and I'm, I'm able to get some cool still. So you guys can go on Craigslist. Those are pretty much the two places that I go right there. You know, everybody knows about that. Now, as far as Facebook, um, I am a part of a couple Facebook groups. So shout out Shoe Game, uh, Shoe Game LA or Shoe Game Los Angeles. You know, they got a lot of great steals and deals. A lot of good people, man. A lot of good people who are in it for the culture, man. They're not trying to really rape people on there. They're not going to sell no fakes. They're not going to do any shady crap, shady business. These are just all good people. So shout out Shoe Game LA, Shoe Game Los Angeles. I've been rocking with them since damn near day one, getting a lot of sneakers on there. I still go on there to this day, man. So shout out them. You know, another uh, Facebook group that I'm a part of is Shoe Bay. Uh, Shoe Bay, this is just for anybody because I'm in the uh, like Los Angeles, Riverside, IE area. If you guys are from out here, then these are groups that you can join because they're trusted groups. Um, if you're not from out here, there's plenty of groups that you guys can join on, on Facebook. Just reach out to somebody, make sure it's a legit, you know, uh, group before you get on there. And, uh, you know, before you get on there, test the waters, buy some Nikes, buy some, you know, some slippers or something. Just test the waters. Don't go out there, your first purchase be some Yeezys or your first purchase be some Pantone 11s and, and you get got. Don't do that. So test it out. But uh, anyway, back to Shoe Bay. Shoe Bay is a little bit more local. I don't got to drive all the way to LA to get these sneakers, man. And But uh, this this one kind of died down a little bit. You know, it still got some good steals and deals on there, but it kind of died down maybe because 
the reselling game is just really diminishing and people are not just running out buying all type of crazy shoes but uh if it's a really great shoe that you want chances are it's going to be on there and um the good thing about the resale is kind of dying down is you get some good classics bro you you might get some uh some some body selling like the bread 13s or the flint 13s or you know old school playoff eights or something like that you know you're gonna get some good deals on some old school classics and in good condition so shout out shoe bay um They've been looking out for me as well. And, and to be honest with you, those are the only groups I go on on Facebook because I build my connections on there. I know people on there. It's trusted. These are good people. They're not trying to rape you. They're not trying to sell no fakes. So I don't really engage in other groups. Not to say that they do that. I just don't feel like going through the whole method of trying to figure it out, man. So I just stick with these two. You know, I've been a part of uh, Scoop 208. Shout out Scoop 208. He got a, a great group where, you know, people send him shoes. He checks them out, make sure they're not fake, and sends them to the people. Or if they do trades, he'll get it. He'll examine them, and then he'll send it out. So make sure you guys don't get got. I haven't done any deals on that because, you know, simply, I just don't feel like going through that whole process. And, you know, if I'm looking for something, chances are I could go to other groups or I could go to eBay or whatever and find them. And uh, I don't got to deal with all of that sending it in. And it might take a while to get my sneaker. But, you know, it's a great group, man. And shout out Scoop 208, man. So anybody can, can join that group. And, you know, he'll check it out. And he's dope, man. He, and he knows what's what's fake, what's not, what's legit, what's not. So you're not going to get God. You're going to get your shoe. You're going to get your money, whatever the case is. So anybody, you guys can check that out. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as Facebook. Now, as far as Instagram, I, I rock with a uh, good company, man. That's good company. They don't spell it with a Y. It's like C O M P A N I E. You know, good company. They're like 20, 30 minutes away from me. You know, I picked up shoes from there. I know homies that pick up shoes from there. You know, they're great, man. Um, I think they do PayPal, if I'm not mistaken. So you guys can follow them, check out the shoes. They got great deals, man. Like, that's really why I rock with them. Because they don't be trying to rape nobody, man. And they're just good people, man. What they stand for, they, they, they stand for something. And they're just good, solid people overall, man. So check out Good Company on Instagram. Um, another place that I follow on Instagram is, um, what's the group? Uh... I think it's uh, round two, round two Hollywood. You know them. They got some good uh, steals and deals on there. The only thing about that is they're in Hollywood. That's like an hour and a half away from me. So by the time I, you know, want to actually go out there and get my sneaker, I probably found a sneaker somewhere else, and I just don't have to make that drive, and I don't have to go out there. But they also have a website, man. I think it's called Round Two uh, Store or or or. or yeah, I think it's round2store.com. So, you know, check that out or just check out their Instagram page and they'll link you to the store. You can actually get some sneakers straight offline, man. You know, you know, buy it, put it in the cart and order it. So, shout out them. That's really where I get all of my sneakers from, man. Um, I, I stay, like I said, in uh, IE. I stay in, in Moval, man. So, there's not really a lot of mom and pop stores. I've been to New York and I've been to other places. And I'm just walking down a strip or something, and I just see, oh, what's this, a sneaker store? I'm going there. They have hella sneakers in there just selling them. So we don't have that out here. Like, we came from dirt. It was nothing out here, bro. And and they just built it up, and they pretty much just put franchises out here, man. So you're going to get your, your Nike outlets and stuff like that. Of course, that's where I go. You know, I love Nike outlet, to be honest with you. I get some good steals in there. You know, you're going to have those. You're going to have your sheets. You're going to have your shoe palaces and stuff like that. So those are the places where I go if I'm shopping around. I don't have no crazy, you know, uh, store that I could tell people about that's kind of local. You know, if you're from out here, you probably know what it is. But, uh, yeah, that's where I get all of my sneakers from, man. So if you're local, if you're close to any of these places, if you want to get online, if you want to check them out for a PayPal um, you know, um, transaction, hit these guys up, man. You're going to get some good steals and deals. You're going to get some good sneakers. If you guys know any great places, man, leave some comments because I'll check them out, man. I'm always looking for some good steals, and uh, I'm always looking to get some sneakers. So leave some comments at the bottom. Let me know where you guys get your sneakers from. If it's a group, you know, shout the group out. Shoot, shout the group out, man. Don't, you know, have this crab in a bucket mentality, man. Help these guys out. Help them get some business, man. You know, and uh, good karma is going to come back to you anyway, man. So that's pretty much it, man. Just a short video. Let you guys know where I get my sneakers from. Make sure you guys subscribe to the page for more content, more music, more blogs, more visual reviews, everything, man. I got a lot coming. And I also got sneaker giveaways coming. I just want to get these subscribers up a little bit more so we can have a lot of people 
that uh, enter the contest, I can give as many people the opportunity to win some sneakers as possible, man. So make sure we get them su uh, subscribers up as quick as possible, and we'll start doing sneaker giveaways that quick. I'm telling you, man. I, I got connections. I'll get the sneakers, and I'll give them away, you know, for you guys' support, man. So that's pretty much all we got for today, man. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. Peace.